hello everyone today i just wanted to talk about what are some of the things that i really do appreciate about america there's so many things i mean numerous things that i do appreciate especially when i think about you know coming from zimbabwe and the differences sometimes that i see the things that i come across um, I see a lot of different things. I have seen a lot and um, they have also changed a lot of my life, a lot of those things. Um, and I'm going to talk about three things today, mainly three things. That's what I want to talk about. Number one of this is um, everyone in America knows they call this uh, a melting pot. And what that means for those who are not familiar with this term, it just means that everyone from around the world, they have, in a sense, it's like they have a piece of themselves here. Meaning, when you come to America, you're going to find your people. Uh, if you're from Germany, you're from Italy, you're from wherever you are, from Africa, you know, you are always going to find somebody in this place that is coming from you, from your place. For example, we can say Africa because there's so many different countries there. And uh, it's hard sometimes to say, I see someone from Zimbabwe right away or a lot of them. But I'm going to find some Africans. You know, I don't care where I could be. I'm always going to find some Africans somewhere that I can relate something about africa if you are from the asian countries you are always going to find uh people from your place this also actually includes for those who have bigger populations that also includes these uh places what they call maybe little italy uh chinatown um korean town uh, they have all those things here that you makes you feel somewhat at home because you know if you want food they have some way of getting authentic food in those places you can go and get exactly maybe what you are looking for if you say maybe shopping you can go in those places and you can find exactly what you are looking for um you know a lot of the things here they are different you know i've talked a lot about um the videos that I've talked about, the food, and they are very different, you know. A lot of the things, they are like processed. When they are, you know, in our places, they are not processed. So when you go, when I go to an African store, for example, I can find real African cornmeal, uh, some of the things, the way we normally would do it, maybe um, smoke the fish or whatever, the way how normal people, they do it, like the way they do it in their places you find all those things and of course i talked about the shopping i talk about you know just uh finding people to relate to uh you find all that that makes you basically feel comfortable about the place where you are you know i think many people can agree to that 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 makes you uh comfortable with that place when you have uh people around you uh number two i want to talk about how easy it is for people to find work a lot of the americans might not really agree with this point because we work a lot there is jobs yes but also a lot of people they don't have money that's true very true but at the same time we cannot forget that there are other places where you cannot find the work completely there's no work you know you are qualified you have everything that you can do you can work you are you you are ready but there's no work for you to work so when you put those things together which one is better you work hard and there's no money you don't see it because the rent is too high you are paying for a car uh, payment you are paying insurance you, you have all these bills we know that uh, but to someone, when I go home and talk to someone or when I, even I am here, 
and I talked to my family about I'm so tired of working so much work we are working hard they sometimes just pause they don't know what to say because to them it's like okay you work hard but at least you have the job so I think it's all about where is who who is talking and you know where are they living what conditions they are facing um, you know but I have to say definitely this is a good positive thing that I would say because you know when I first came to America I had looked for jobs and look for job and look for job and look for job and I remember going for months and months and months and months not having a job and when i came to america i saw things like you know we are hiring you know signs everywhere like we are hiring could be at mcdonald's you know people don't want to hear that you know and people sometimes that time minimum wage was maybe seven dollars or something like that and of course you know what is seven dollars going to do in america maybe not much a person have to get you know even those days maybe a person have to get two jobs and you know to try and make just ends meet okay but still people were saying we are hiring and that was very very inspiring for me to to know actually there is plenty of work you know other people hearing maybe this video is going to make someone think wow you know i wish i could be there right so it's one of the things that i would really say it's um a positive thing definitely it's a positive thing that i can say about america and i think it's really one of the things that many people they want to flock and come here to america because they know that people who come here they have something it's either on the side is something they can do and get paid because somebody you know can pay them to do that that thing you know so people they want to come here uh there are many many countries that could people could stay in their countries they can do what they want to do there but because they cannot find that opportunity of being hired and have the work they come here to work maybe still they remain with a little bit of money because of the bills but they rather do that than they don't do anything at all number three i said i'm only going to give you three things so i have to stay there number three is about how is access on things like clothing i would say material things in general uh if a person wants to find furniture they want to find uh, refrigerators they want to find washing machines they want to find bedding they want to find uh, like i say clothes anything of those nature those things are really easy to find in america i mean one of the reason is there's a lot of um, this country has a lot of also people with a lot and uh this country there's many people who also buys a lot things that they don't want so therefore that leaves a lot of access to a lot of people for example a person can buy a big old wardrobe of different things shoes or bags or clothes or whatever but then they are not going to wear all those things within a certain time by the time maybe they want to wear one thing maybe they don't feel like it's the right thing for the occasion that they want to go to so most people who have occasions all the time they go and buy another thing and sometimes they buy one thing they wait one day and that's it that's most of the time if they were going to a wedding they wear a dress one day a suit one day and that's it the shoes the same thing when they are attending another event they do the same thing again when they are attending a next event they do the same thing again they go and buy and they have it for that particular wedding and most people they don't want to be seen in their pictures beautiful pictures with the same thing so they keep on changing and changing and changing and changing so that means that for a person who really don't want to spend a lot of money to buy things there's plenty of stuff that you can get for free for very cheap 
um, you know, it, you, you don't have to spend money. So those are some of the things that I can say. And I can say for sure, you know, um, you can have those things. And uh, as I have said, I only going to give you three things today that I really appreciate about America. I've been here for so long and I know it's hard to, to um, you know, appreciate when you are sometimes we stay long sometimes. But I wanted to refresh that to appreciate. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.